Hey everybody, Sergeant Pope here, and today I have a tutorial on how to install a power supply like this Thermaltake 600 watt that I have into a desktop PC. And as you can see on my custom uh, Cooler Master desktop, it's at the bottom. Uh, many uh, like Dells and HPs and stuff have them up, the t up at the top. Like here's my Dell right here. It's uh, up at the top. It's pretty much installed the same way. First off, what you have to do is you have to screw them in or before screw holes and uh, it's pretty simple stuff doing that so uh, let's try it out. Some power supplies will have a fan like on the bottom of it. Uh, some power supplies have the fan in the back of it and believe it or not uh, this will work. Uh, I mean either way will work on pretty much any PC because this actually doesn't push the air out it actually pulls the air in. So um, yeah just uh, on my PC I can have it oriented either down, because you see there's holes in there, or I can have it up. Uh, I'm going to try to do it down, but uh, sometimes the screw holes doesn't don't exactly work whenever you do it down, so I might have to put it up. But either way, uh, it will work. Uh, just make sure, if you guys actually have it down where it's pulling, make sure there's holes back down there, because if there aren't, then your power supply is probably fucked. Okay, I uh, went ahead and screwed it in without having you guys watch. Now this is pretty standard, just... Uh, it's four screw holes, and I did mount it so the fan is pointing up. That way uh, it'll pull some of the air from the inside of there out. Next, all you really have to do is uh, go ahead and plug in the cords. And uh, let's see, actually this one is a... On, on a lot of thermal takes, they have uh, the 20 pin, and then it has the plus four. Because most motherboards are 20 plus four. So uh, let's see, I guess we'll go ahead and plug them in. Uh, Really, really, the the major things you have to worry about with uh, with plugging in uh, a uh, power supply to your uh, motherboard and everything is the main uh, power supply or the uh, main uh, power cord or whatever the fuck. Uh, you have to plug that one in. Remember about that one. Uh, motherboards will most likely have an either four or an eight pin. Right there, you see it's right there. On mine, it's an eight pin. On like this computer, it's a four pin. You see that little one right there. So, uh, yeah, this one's an 8-pin, so that means you'll use both of these. Uh, let's see. So many fucking cords. And then, like, uh, hard drives will use uh, SATA, and solid-state drives will use SATA. That's, uh, that's why I don't know what that looks like. These are the SATA cords right there. And, uh, then there's, and then there's peripheral ones. Those are kind of just, like, for fans and shit, like, like that fan right there will need a peripheral. Um, and, uh, I don't know, that's about it. Well, actually, and, wait, one last thing. Uh, graphics cards. A lot of times they need, if you get a pretty high-end graphics card, it will need a 6, 6 pin. And sometimes it needs an 8 pin, and Thermal Take has a 6 plus 2, giving an 8. So just go ahead and plug those in. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, and let you guys see where they go. At least on my motherboard. It will be different on different motherboards, but generally this is how it goes down. Okay, and on the main, uh, let's see, I wonder if you guys can see this. On the main power supply, that little, uh, little clamp right there goes on the outside of it, not the inside. So you point that away from, away from everything, pretty much. And then since I'm using thermal take, you just stab in that plus or plus four pin to make it a 24 pin. And it just takes a little bit of persuasion. Okay, that should be good. Uh, next, I need to do not the graphics. I need to do the uh, the uh, secondary motherboard, which is the uh, the either four pin or the eight pin. So, since I have 8 pin, I'll be putting these both together. Oh, burp. And I'll uh, step them on in there. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of work onto it. So, let me move this forward. There we go. Snap that first one in there, and then we'll put that second one in. Oh, that second one went a lot easier than the first one. <laughs> Man. Okay, so we got that in there, and uh, next, uh, if you have a graphics, if you have a, a high-end graphics card, then uh, go ahead and you know do the power for that. 
If you don't have a high-end graphics card, uh, then you don't need to worry about that. Okay, so this, these are just peripherals. Um, so if you have a fan like that, you'll need to worry about that. I, I have my solid-state drive back there, and then my uh, so, uh, my dish drive up there. So both of them use uh, SATA power cables. So we'll go ahead and plug those in. I can never tell what SATA is, if they're upside down or right side up. I can't tell. There we go, though. Okay. There we go. Just slapping the extra cords in the unused bay. <laughs> um, let's see. Next to this, this is another SATA branch. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my, uh, in my solid state drive. You guys can figure out how to do that. It's just uh, on, on disk drives and uh, hard drives and everything. It pretty much just looks exactly like this. Uh, there's a SATA data cable. That's the pink one right here. And that's a SATA power cable. The SATA power cable is obviously the bigger one, and then the uh, SATA, data, SATA data cable is the smaller one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the uh, solid state drive. So I'll be back pretty soon. Okay, so I plugged in my solid state drive, and now that's pretty much everything. Plugged in everything. Uh, just need to worry about the uh, main power supply, the uh, auxiliary power supply. Or I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's either the 4 pin or the 8 pin. So just that's really all you need to know about about it. Um, let's see, uh, the uh, disk drives and solid state drives slash hard drives. And that is pretty much it. And then graphics cards, if you need to put that in there. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope I helped you out. I have plenty of other uh, PC uh, installation videos. I have one for CPU, one for RAM, uh, one for solid state drive, and uh, some more coming out pretty soon. So thanks for watching this video, guys, and uh, have a nice day. See you guys later. Bye.